All right, so you want to talk about intense. We're about to get intense. You've come to the right place. Yeah. Today, we're diving into the passionate, mysterious, and sometimes treacherous waters of a Scorpio-Scorpio romantic pairing. Oh, boy. Oh, Fasten your seatbelts, everybody. So. It's true, when you think about the classic Scorpio traits, intensity, passion, a touch of mystery, mm -hmm. doubling down on that is quite the recipe. Right. Let's see what our source has to say about how this plays out in a romantic relationship. And the analysis we have doesn't hold back. Not at all. Using phrases like nuclear energy to describe their connection. Really? Let's unpack that a bit, shall we? Yeah, that vivid imagery speaks to the incredible sexual chemistry between two Scorpios. Okay. It can be electric, a dream come true, but it also highlights the potential for things to go nuclear if they're not careful. So how does our listener harness that energy? Yeah, that's a good question. What can they do to keep from getting totally incinerated? Right. Because the source points to tenderness and emotional connection as the key ingredients here. Okay. See, individually... Scorpios might seek balance from a partner. Right. But when you put two together, that dynamic shifts. Interesting. It's about recognizing that the intensity is a shared experience and channeling it into something constructive rather than letting it control the relationship. Which makes me wonder about the whole trust thing. Yeah. Scorpios are known for craving intimacy, but they're fiercely independent too. Mm -hmm. Can they really trust each other or is it just a constant power struggle? That's the paradox at the heart of this pairing. Okay. They long to merge with another soul, to know and be known completely, yet they're also intensely private and protective of their freedom. Mm -hmm. The analysis describes it as a battle for supremacy, where possessiveness clashes with a need for independence. Wow, that sounds intense. It can be. Yeah. The source is very clear that no Scorpio wants to feel controlled. Right. But here's the interesting thing. Scorpios are also incredibly perceptive. They can see through facades. And that ability to recognize genuine honesty in each other can actually become the foundation for a profound, almost psychic connection. So it's about taking a leap of faith. It is. Allowing themselves to be vulnerable, even if it feels risky. Precisely. Yeah. That willingness to let down their guard, to trust in the power of their shared vulnerability, mm -hmm. is what allows them to move from a superficial connection to a bond that's truly transformative. Okay, so we've got this potential for incredible passion and deep trusting intimacy. We do. But what about communication? Yeah. Imagine two Scorpios having a conversation. Oh my goodness. Is it a meeting of the minds or all-out mental warfare? It could be a fascinating blend of both, actually. Okay. On the one hand, they can dive into each other's depths in a way few other signs can. Right. They're not afraid of the dark stuff, the taboo, the things most people shy away from. Yeah. This shared understanding creates a powerful intellectual connection. This shared understanding sounds amazing, but the source also uses phrases like arguments, disrespect, even a fight to the death, to describe what happens when communication goes south. Yeah, you're right. It's a fine line. Yikes. What can our listener do to make sure those conversations stay stimulating and don't turn toxic? This is where having separate lives and mutual respect become crucial. Okay. The analysis emphasizes that two Scorpios can't be in each other's space constantly. Right. They need their own pursuits, their own identities outside the relationship to keep that intellectual spark alive without it turning into a constant battle for dominance. It's like they each need their own space to recharge, to explore their individual passions so they can come back to the relationship with fresh perspectives. Exactly. It prevents their shared intensity from becoming all-consuming. Right. And speaking of intensity, we can't ignore the emotional roller coaster inherent in a double Scorpio dynamic. Right. We've talked about passion and intellectual sparks, but what happens when you combine two people known for experiencing emotions on a deeper level? It can be incredibly powerful. Really? How so? They understand each other's emotional depths in a way few others can. Okay. This shared sensitivity creates a unique bond, a sense of being seen and understood on a soul level. Uh-huh. But, and this is a big but. Okay. It also leads to some serious challenges. The source mentions a potential for conflict. Absolutely. It highlights how Scorpios, while deeply feeling can also be intolerant of what they perceive as weakness, even in themselves. Wow. They hold themselves to incredibly high standards, and those expectations get projected onto their partner. Oh, that's tough. This can create a situation where they struggle to meet each other's needs, not because those needs are so different, but because they're so similar. 
That's fascinating to struggle with the very same things your partner struggles with. Right. So if you're a Scorpio listening to this, how do you avoid falling into that trap? Self-awareness and emotional maturity are non-negotiable here. Makes sense. The analysis is very clear about that. Okay. Each Scorpio needs to take responsibility for their own emotional baggage. Right. Otherwise, it becomes a vicious cycle of triggering each other without resolution. It's like looking in a mirror, but instead of addressing what you see, you blame the reflection. Exactly. Yeah. The source actually uses a more technical term. Which is? Projection. Okay. It describes how individuals often unconsciously attribute their own negative traits or feelings onto their partners. Interesting. And because Scorpios are so perceptive, they pick up on those projections leading to further misunderstandings and conflicts. We've talked about trust communication and navigating the complexities of their emotional world. We have. What about shared values? Right. Does that passionate intensity translate into a shared vision for life? Or is that where the cracks start to show? On the surface, it might seem like two Scorpios would naturally align on values. Yeah, you'd think so. After all, they both value rationality, emotional maturity, and authenticity. Right. However, I think there's always a however with this pairing. Rightfully so. Okay, go on. <laughs> we can't forget that Scorpios are a water sign. They're deeply emotional beings at their core. Okay. And because of this tendency towards projection, that might end up judging their partner for the very things they dislike in themselves. So they're drawn to each other based on shared values, but then those very values become a point of contention because they see their own flaws reflected back at them. Precisely. Mm. Imagine a Scorpio who prides themselves on being emotionally controlled. Okay. They might criticize their partner for expressing vulnerability, openly failing to recognize that they too struggle with allowing themselves to be vulnerable. Oh, that's tough. It's a recipe for disappointment and resentment. Okay, so this all begs the question. Yeah. Can these two have fun together? That is the question, isn't it? You've got intense chemistry, deep conversations, emotional landmines everywhere. Lots going on. Is a Scorpio-Scorpio relationship doomed to be all drama all the time? Is a Scorpio-Scorpio relationship doomed to be all drama all the time? Well, the source seems to think that Yes, they can have fun together, but there's a catch. Okay, there's always a catch. Right. What is yeah. it? The analysis found that Scorpio couples may easily agree on activities due to their shared interests, mm. but those activities might not bring them the joy they seek. How is that even possible? The source uses an interesting analogy. Okay. Imagine two Scorpios going to a restaurant and both ordering the same rich, heavy meal. Okay. Instead of getting different dishes to share and experience diverse flavors, they end up overly full yeah. and perhaps a bit sluggish. I see. So it's like their shared intensity can actually work against them when it comes to having fun. Exactly. They might gravitate toward intense films, documentaries, or deep philosophical discussions, which can be stimulating, but also emotionally draining. Right. Makes sense. They need to actively seek out experiences that bring balance and lightness to their lives. So what kinds of things? Think romantic comedies, outdoor adventures, trying a new cuisine together. Okay, so it's like they need to consciously choose joy and balance instead of letting their natural intensity dictate their activities. Precisely. Yeah. And that takes effort and self-awareness from both partners. So where does this leave us with the Scorpio-Scorpio pairing? Is it a recipe for disaster or cosmic connection? It's definitely not for the faint of heart. This is a relationship with the potential for both incredible highs and devastating lows. The source describes it as like a supernova, incredibly bright, but ultimately self-destructive. A very fitting analogy. <laughs> yeah. But here's the crucial question for our listener. Okay. Do both partners possess the self-awareness, yeah. the emotional maturity, and the willingness to work on themselves in order to make this intense pairing work? Because without that, it seems like it would be a constant cycle of passion conflict and ultimately heartbreak. Exactly. Yeah. This is a relationship that demands a lot from both individuals. Yeah. It's not about trying to change the other person, but rather about looking inward and asking yourself, am I truly ready for this kind of intensity? And if the answer is yes, if they're both willing to put in the work, then it could be the most transformative, the most passionate, the most deeply connected relationship they'll ever experience. Wow. But that's a big if. A big if indeed. Well, there you have it a deep dive into the fiery, mysterious, and undeniably complex world of the Scorpio-Scorpio pairing. We've explored their strengths, their challenges, and ultimately their potential for both ecstasy and agony. It's complicated. The final verdict. It is. It's complicated. All right. Well, on that note, we encourage you, our listener, to keep exploring, keep asking questions, and to make your own informed decisions about what works best for you in your own life. Until next time, happy stargazing.